Easter Seals wants to help people with disabilities live, learn, work, and play in our communities, but it's especially important to get an early start, and that's where a new initiative comes into play. It's called Make the First Five Count, and joining us today to talk about the initiative is Pam Ruther, Vice President of Programs with Easter Seals Delaware and Maryland's Eastern Shore. Thank you for joining us Thank this afternoon. We so. talk about the mission. Tell us, how does Easter Seals carry out that mission? Well, Easter Seals has been on uh, Delaware, in Delaware, Maryland's Eastern Shore for the last 64 years, and our goal is to meet the community need. So we have programs for adults, programs for children, we have recreational programs for at Camp Fairley Manor. So we try and meet children and adults where they need to be for, with physical disabilities, what they want to do, what they're interested in. So yeah. it's, it's really, really important to identify the needs as early as possible. Absolutely. And that's what the new initiative is all about. Absolutely. The new initiative is Make the First Five Count, and it stands for Making the First Five Years of a Child's Life Count. It is the time in their life when they are learning and growing and developing at such a high rate of speed, and, and it is where the foundation and the building blocks for their success later on will come into play. So. So yeah. when you're when you're a parent, you often get a lot. You know, your child's really young, and maybe mm -hmm. your child isn't talking like the other children are talking. People are like, oh, go ahead. You know, that's right. fine. He'll catch up, so on and so forth. But you've actually made it easier to detect mm -hmm. whether your child is maybe at a disadvantage. Tell us about that. Right. One of the things that we try to do with Make the First Five Count is to empower families to really know where their child is developmentally because if they know where they are then they know when there's a concern or not and we do frequently say to families it's okay boys talk late or girls aren't as rambunctious and all of those things but the reality is we really need to know where a child is in order to make a decision about early identification and then early treatment so that they can have a great success to get a good start no. what well, now you've developed an online test right. to help figure things out. Correct. Um, if you go to the website, makethefirstfivecount.org, there's actually a, uh, a link to a program, a, a test called the Ages and Stages Questionnaire. And the Ages and Stages Questionnaire allows a family member, a parent, to put in the child's date of birth and to answer questions specific to that child's age group. And then a few weeks later, they'll get a letter that says, yes, your child's on target, your child has a couple of questions we're not sure about, come back in three months and try this again, or there's some red flags we think you need to follow up with your doctor for. And we have that test on DelmarvaLife.com. Can you tell us a little bit about the questions specifically? What kind of questions sure. would you answer on it's, there? It's a short test. It's about 10 to 20 questions, and they vary depending on the child's age. It includes tests, uh, questions about physical ability, is a child uh, walking, running, crawling, depending on their age? It asks questions about communication. It asks questions about relationships. So it is, um, it looks at all domains of a child's growth, not just limited to any one particular area, which is so important and critical for early diagnosis of autism, for early diagnosis of a developmental delay. Yeah. Now, I, I know you just told, told me this, but tell me again, explain mm -hmm. to me specifically, what happens after the test is taken? Okay. So after the parent inputs the information, answers the questions, they get a letter two weeks later. And it may be an email or maybe a real letter, depending on how they <laughs> took the test, and it tells them what exactly to do next. Do they go to the parent, uh, did, excuse me, did they go see their physician? Maybe they don't do anything. Maybe the child's doing great, and it says, wait six months and take the questionnaire again and see where your child is. It's for children from ages one month to five years. Mm -hmm. What if you don't have the internet? Some parents don't. There is a phone number that you can call um, and that phone number will get you a hard copy of the test mailed to you which you then return and then you get the follow-up information the same way. And there's the number on your screen 855-432-5872. Right? Correct. Okay. Absolutely. And that information of course is on delmarvalive.com mm -hmm. as well. Wow. So do you feel okay. challenged by this every day you go in? I love it. Yeah. Um, we get, I have the best job in the world. I get to see children grow and change. Easter Seals has programs all throughout Delaware and on the Eastern Shore for Children's Therapy Services, and we see just such great success. But we know that there are more kids out there that could be helped and could get to that point where then they get to school, they're ready to go. And you're ready to help. Yeah, Pam absolutely. Ruka, thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Appreciate That's so wonderful. It. And of Thank course, you. if you want more information on Easter Seals or if you'd like to take the Ages and Stages questionnaire, go to delmarvalife.com and click on the Show tab. Well, still to come on Delmarva Life, a couple of students from the UMES Hotel and Restaurant Management Program join us to whip up a tasty treat in the kitchen. But next, Brian Spiros is at Fashions for Less in Berlin talking style.
Well, Jimmy and Lisa, not only are we going to be talking style and fashion, but fashion everyone can afford when we come back. Some of the merchandise they have in here at Fashions for Less, plus where a new store will soon be opening up. You're watching Delmarva Life. Stay with us. We will be right back.